Scene one, Apple take two. It's just so cool. Every piece of it was so smooth and elegant. This great visual world. Stand down! From the sky tower to the bubble ship, ultimately is an emotional experience. It's extraordinary, and it's epic. The whole philosophy for the movie was to try to shoot everything in camera, so we decided that it made sense to build a full-scale version of the bubble ship. Once you get the fuselage on, you can go anywhere. You can put the tail boom on, or you can do the cockpit. Did you get it in? We're finally getting the bubble ship assembled. Well, this is the first time it's ever been pieced together, ever. We spent an hour and a half on creating it, finding all the parts. It's like Christmas morning, because we're getting everything out of the packages, you know, the bubble wrap. Kind of antennas in this thing. All right, what's the next steps? Engines? All these studs mount to the plate on there. Got your fingers. Go ahead and go back and we'll come over. Right there. Hold on, hold on. Last night, drop it down a touch. I had no idea it was going to be like this, man. I'm shaking right now. Being able as a designer to participate on a movie where they build real vehicles, it's a designer's dream come true. Everything's fully assembled. Now we're just working on getting the lights fired up for tonight for Tom and Joe. Yeah, it's beautiful. This thing is cool. Can we pop the doors for <laughs> God, that's beautiful. <laughs> Come on. Can I get in? Tom Cruise was super involved with everything. He came to the workshops where we built it. He had some input on the controls to make sure it felt as realistic as possible with the foot pedals and the control stick. It's so beautifully designed. Every piece of it was just smooth and elegant. Stunning. It was really exciting to get to share that moment with him. Good job, guys. Right. There's a couple different incarnations of the bubble ship. We have the complete bubble ship, and we have basically just the cockpit on a full motion-based gimbal. So we'll get all the flying footage, and then in visual effects, we will put the rest of the ship on the back side of that. Ready, and action. Tom is the pilot himself, so he's very comfortable with all this movement. Can we go a little faster? But Olga's never been on any kind of gimbal like this before. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay. Just relax. Look at me. Yeah. Okay, it'll be fun. <laughs> Olga will tell you today she wasn't scared. Have fun, Olga. She was scared. <laughs> oh, my God! Bubble ship is a beautiful creation when it's just standing on the ground. But you don't want to be in there when it's flipping around. There you go. <laughs> At the end, I liked it, actually. I have to admit it. But don't tell anyone. I pretended like I didn't. <laughs> Great job. She's very brave. She toughed it out. And her performance in the movie is priceless because it's real. It's not acting. Are you OK? No. Oh. I was listening to M83 when I wrote the story, so to be able to bring him on the actual film was a real thrill. I met with Joe Kosinski and loved the project, obviously, so of course I'm gonna do it, and it's my first score, so I'm very excited about it. Anthony's music is cutting edge, but it's also very emotional, and it felt like a good fit. My sound is very cinematic in a very electronic way. I was very inspired watching the pictures and it was beautifully shot. When you first see Tom Cruise riding his motorcycle in this beautiful landscape, there's something very epic but very emotional at the same time. It's a collaboration between Joe Kosinski, Joe Trapanese and myself. Anthony has such a brilliant body of work behind them that has inspired me. So to learn from him, as he's learning from me about film scoring, it really is a dream come true. The goal was to have something new that delivers power and epicness. When you have something so forward-thinking, you have to bring this same interesting element that you brought into the filmmaking into the music also. It's 
sounds original, which is all I wanted. I wanted an original sound for an original film. It's really cool. So I want the real drums to start now. We recorded this original song for the end credits. And Susan Sanford is singing. She's so powerful, and there's something majestic about her voice. She's one of a kind, I think. Working on this film was an amazing experience. Where 